but he is in fact the only person in all the NHL to serve an organization as a player, assistant coach, head coach, general manager, and president. In 2014, he was the recipient of the Lester Patrick Trophy for service to hockey in the United States. And next month, we'll be inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame in the class of 2021. Now, let's take a look back at Paul Holmgren's illustrious career as a Philadelphia Flyer. Spin over the line to Holmgren, and right on in, five, go! Close about the Paul Holmgren, he'll take it up, 35-footer, four! Homer, congrats on the Flyers Hall of Fame. Not too many people deserve it more than you. Lifelong Flyer. I think you bleed orange and black. To me, you're the ultimate guardian of the Flyers logo, Flyers organization. as afraid of you as the guys on the other team would trust me. That's the heavyweight belt if there ever was one. Out in front is left for another one, they go! Thank you for bringing me the Flyers in Philadelphia 2007. I love putting that jersey on. I love the fans. Palmer, first off, congratulations. This is so well deserved. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I'm glad to call you a friend. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Flyers Hall of Famer, Paul Holmgren. First of all, I just want to thank Lou Nolan for that fine introduction. I, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Rick Tockett as well. One, one thing I'd like to say that I didn't know until tonight, he didn't talk this much when he first came up to the Flyers. And he's obviously gotten better at that. I talked to him before the uh, ceremony and he told me he was only going to talk for about a minute. He obviously liked it. It was great. Good speech. Good job. Just a, a little bit about Rick Tockett. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm very proud to be to be going into the Flyers Hall of Fame with Rick. Uh, I first met Rick in 1983. We were both players. Uh, I, I got to know him a little bit more over the, over the next few years as an assistant coach and then as his head coach. There's no one that epitomizes being a Flyer more than Rick Tockett. His character, his determination, his grit, and his will to win made him into a truly incredible NHL player, and all based on hard work. He just worked his ass off until he became a great player. So congratulations to Rick Tocca. In uh, March of 1976, I came to the Philadelphia Flyers uh, and played my first game. Since that time, over the next 45 years, 40 of those years, I've, I've worked for the Philadelphia Flyers in some capacity. So standing here tonight, about to be inducted into the Flyers Hall of Fame, is a, a most tremendous honor. It's, it's, it's truly an It's, for me, it's truly an honor of a lifetime, and it's beyond my wildest dreams. I am so humbled to be joining the players that are 
hanging from the rafters that I've known for so long, been part of my life for so long, been a big part of you, the fans, for so long, and a big part of the city of Philadelphia for so long. I am so honored to be going in with those guys. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to just recognize a few people and thank a few people who've helped me along the way. Um, <clears throat> first of all, Mr. Schneider. You, you created this team. You forged a legacy. And for all of us who have had the pleasure and joy of being able to work or be a part of this organization, you have touched our lives to such an impeccable level. And we miss you all. We all miss you. We all miss you. Dave Scott. Uh, Dave, Dave is a, thank you for putting the trust in me uh, to do the job that I've done over, over the last few years at the highest level. I, uh, I valued our friendship. I, I have uh, confided in you on many of my, of what was going on with me, and you've been a true friend. And I, Dave, moving forward, I trust that you will continue to take care of the Flyers family. <laughs> to my teammates, players, and colleagues, it's been an absolute privilege over the last 40 years to be a part of things with you. I, I, there's just countless people in this organization that most of the fans know nothing about, that work for the team tirelessly, that want to win as much as the players, as much as you, the fans, that just don't get any credit. Thank you to all of you people that work so tirelessly behind the scenes to try to, try to make the Flyers be the Flyers. <laughs> to Bob Clark, I've known Clarky for 45 years. Um, he's, he's probably my greatest friend. Uh, he's been there through thick and thin with me through a lot of the ups and downs of my life. Clarky, you created the brand that is the Philadelphia Flyers through your tenacity, through your hard work, through your competitive spirit. You are the Flyers. And I love you dearly. To my family, this is, bear with me if I get a little, a little emotional on this one. <clears throat> Thank you for all the love and support you've given me over the years. You know, without, without the sacrifices my family has made for me, I would not be standing here today, and I don't know that I can ever, ever repay you back, ever repay you. My, my wife, Doreen, has been a rock in my life for so many years, and Two of my children are with me tonight and six of my grandkids. I love them dearly, and they are the rock of my life right now. And lastly, I speak to you, the fans. The fans of this city. I mentioned earlier that my first uh, time in, in the city of Philadelphia was in March of 1976. I played my first game. My love affair with you people and with this city became, started that night. And it's been an ever ongoing love affair with me. Yes, there's been bad times. Yes, there's been good times. But you guys have been constant. And without you all, there is no Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers fans are the greatest fans in all of America. You are the greatest. It's been a true honor for me to work for you people and to be part, part of your society and your city. I love it here. God bless. Let's go Flyers.